we bought them for. Watch over them because you want to, not because you're afford to do it. Come on, Miss because you want to. I, you said, I heard you say this morning, amen, my quote is, I would love to be your pastor. Yes. Oh, come on, somebody. Yes. Ain't nobody twisting my arm, Josh. Ain't nobody holding me. Come on, somebody. Yes. Amen, I want to be your pastor. Why? I want to love on you. Yes. I want to show you the love of God. Yes. I will not dare, Lord, over you. Come on, somebody. Yes. I will not dare dictate to you. And if I ever do, somebody, please come and tell me. Help me stay humble. Help me, because you know why? I know I got to report to God. I got to give a test of my actions to God. I want to hear him say, Well done, my good and faithful servant. I want to hear it.
your pastor. Yes, you can. If he need help and you know how to help him, you ought to say, come in, let me talk to you for a minute. Bishop, I see this. And if I'm too stupid to realize what you're saying, go get a witness. If both of y'all talk to me, I'm still too stupid to see it, bring me for the church. Come on, somebody. Amen. All you can do is help me get better. You ain't got to worry about it. Think about him straight. Think about you, dude. Give God the glory. Walk on your back with your own hands. Let me tell him. Yes, you did. Thank you so much. Because, see, you might not want to cry, but I want to be humble and deliberate. Yes. Yes. See, I'm going to be blessed. And see, you know pride going to bring you down. Yes. Come on, somebody. Amen. Because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sit in the matter and go to pray. Just like yesterday when I walked through that building and I saw that dog on room in that cafe room, I said, Woo, this is your training. How do you get back in life? I'm already training. I'm always training. I sleep to it every Sunday. I'm already praying. No, I humble myself with it. I said, this is your training. I see it right here because they said it. We need it. They said, you're not doing it. I said, okay, I'm going to do it. Somebody say amen. Amen. Because I humble myself, see, if I was going to humble Mr. Bruce, I would have saw that room as another room. That's right. But the minute when I saw it, I saw us up there teaching. Amen. I saw us. It was a vision. I saw us in there. And then coming out having lunch, I saw it in the vision. Amen. And when I saw it, I immediately told Dr. John what I saw. Hallelujah. She caught on to the vision. Yes, sir. I told Ty, Ty, go to work. I didn't say go to work. She said, well, I guess I better go. No, you know what she said? Well, I guess I better go get, get, get this room for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, sir. She just called the vision and said, all right. You ain't got to tell me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I got to go to work and get that room for you, Bishop. I said, yes, ma'am. I told Pat that I already got a plan for our first lesson. Thank you, Lord. Come on, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank Share with each other the troubles and problems in this way because the law of Christ. Amen. Encourage each other and give each other strength. First of all, the five eleven. For John 15, 1 and 5 says, I am the vine. Oh, God, God, I got to work here now. Amen. I got to work here. Amen. I am the vine. I am the true vine. And my father is the gardener. And you are what? The branches. Number five. In God's garden, my life becomes productive. Say it for me. In God's garden, my life become productive. This is one of the benefits of belonging to God's family. In God's garden, my life become what? Listen, amen. We are going to be productive here. Amen. Now let me convince you in the word. Y'all say amen. Now, now, now tap on this word. Amen. John 15, verses 4 and 5 says, A branch cannot do fruit if it is severed from the vine. You cannot be fruitful apart from me. I am the vine and you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I am them will produce much fruit. But apart from me, you can do nothing. Absolutely nothing can you do by yourself. You got to be part of God's family. God said, in my family, there's a benefit, and that is, pray God, you will produce much fruit. It is my job, praise God, amen, to get you in position where you are producing. Yes. Not just coming, but producing. Not just singing, but producing. Not just with a deacon, but 
God brought in this many. God is saying, so what? Amen. I want more. Okay. Yes. That same verse goes on and says, God, said, those who have done real well, you know what God does? He'll prune you, get some more stuff off of you, change your mind some more, yes. get you deeper in God's word, because you know what God says? I want some more. Yes. I'm thankful for what you've done, yes. but I want some more. Amen. It's good that Josh can play, but God said, well, what about a, a, a base play? Base play? Amen. What about lead guitar? Where's some horns? Where's some string instruments? Amen. Amen. Praise God. What Amen. about some these young people that's in your choir or your group say, listen, you play for your church? Nah, I, don't, I just play at school. Come we'll come play for us. Amen. 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 You guitar player? I'm just learning how. Well, come on, I'll help you. You can turn down low and pick the beat. When you catch on, you get louder. Come on, Bishop. Yeah. That's how you do it. In the young voices, for, by the way, when we're in the young voices, by the way, Amen. some of them couldn't even play a note on the horn. But they get the front part. That's it, Bishop. A one part talk. When all God took me together, yeah. da -da, uh, da -da, that's all they can do. Da -da. But that's what everybody, when they got to do that, they got the young one.